Hi friends, thanks for being here and viewing my videos. Please subscribe, like, comment. That helps me pop up for people who are also searching for these show it tutorial videos. And it will just, you know, it's nice. I like to see it. So that is that. I had another request from one of my subscribers slash viewers and it was regarding pop-ups. And I do have a video already on how to create a subscribe pop-up in Show It. So if you want to start there, that is the best idea. I go over how to make a pop-up, how to get it to trigger as you're scrolling down the page, how to add in your um, MailChimp or whatever embedded newsletter into it. So that is obviously the video to start with. But the request was specific to making it a full screen pop-up to where viewers cannot uh, scroll. They have to either click out of it or, you know, and this, you see this all the time. A lot of, um, a lot of like online shops will pop up and like save this much money. And then you have to press the, I don't want to save text or hit the X button or whatever it is. So this is just going to emulate that and show you how to do it. Um, I'm just in my show it account now. I just have a basic test website here. And as it depends on your goals, if you want it to trigger immediately upon someone coming to your site, or if you want it to trigger later, I'll show you how to do that. Um, or if you want it to trigger when someone clicks on something, I will also show you how to do that. So the first thing we are going to do though, before we can do any of that is to actually create the pop-up and what we want it to look like. So I'm going to add a blank canvas which will be thrown onto the bottom of my website. Oh, let me delete this. This was a different tutorial. Yeah. Uh, and I'm also going to hide the menu just for my sanity. Okay. So, and make sure that as you're building, obviously you would want it to reflect. Now there's two designs that you could do. You could have it literally take up every pixel of the screen. And that would just be by using this canvas background as its entire self. So um, if I want this to be my pop-up, I would just change the background of the canvas. Uh, if you want to show a little bit of the background, then instead I would advise making the background transparent and then adding, excuse me, adding a shape here and then using the shape to fill, you know, the entire screen. Um, this canvas will need to be set to window height. If your goal is to have it fill up the entire screen, you'll want to set canvas type to window height. And then the shape, you're going to want it to lock in all directions. So if we preview that, scroll, 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 um, you'll see this is what it's doing. It's filling up the entire screen, but it's keeping that little space that I had set up around the edges. So. You know, if you want it to be the entire screen, you can set the canvas background or you can just, you know, drag this all the way to the edge here. So now that we have that, go in and add the text here, you know, whatever you want it to be. Ah. And I'm just going to temporarily lock this so that I don't actually drag it around. Oh, don't miss out. Heading. I don't even know what these fonts are because it's a temporary building site. <laughs> um, you know, blah, 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 here. And then, you know, if you're going to want to add your embed code, like if you want them to embed specifically, go ahead and add that code in there. And then you have a couple of options for the Xing out ability. So you can add the X out button and let me change the color really quick. Icon chooser. I'm going to choose an X and I'm going to put it over in the right hand corner. Let me just name the subscribe. And click actions. We are going to have it click or add action, hide canvas, this canvas. That's the goal for that. If you also wanted it to be instead of an X, you wanted like the tiny little text here that's like, you know, I 
I don't want to as the text that they have to click then I would Ugh. oh come on I think it's giving me a hard time because I locked the background okay cool text jeez okay I don't know why that did that but all right let's change this to uppercase and then I want that to be you know hide this canvas so and actually I'm taking that back I want it to be underlined so let's see yeah okay ignore that because I realize I can't do that but now that we have you know this all here I'm gonna center it into page uh, this obviously because this is responsive I want it to anchor to the top and the right corner so I do that with the locking so now we can scroll down and kind of view what that looks like this is what it would look like uh, and as you notice the header is obviously on top because headers usually need a canvas positioning that's higher than every other page on your website <clears throat> My mouse is spazzing out of control. So this header here, the nav, it's the stacking order of 15. I have it to where it's going to be on top of pretty much anything I could ever create. So in case of this, where you want it to cover up everything, you're going to need to go at least one higher so that um, it will be on top of it. And I'm just going to preview again really quick. And so now you can see that it's on top of everything. Um, these will click out of it as we've designed them to so now what we want it to do is be on top of everything and at the top of the page so let's click hidden to start at well we'll do that second so <laughs> window height sticky is top so now when we preview it it will be at the top of the page and it will be you know blocking everything nobody can scroll uh, if I were to show let me unlock this you know how I was saying like if you want a little bit to show <clears throat> so now you can kind of see that there's a background behind it and you can see the page scrolling um, behind it because you can't stop stuff from scrolling so you can choose whatever you want to do there now we need to decide when we want it to pop up and how to pop up so if you want it to trigger immediately as soon as someone comes to your website you're gonna want to do so by well wow, uh, by having it trigger immediately so you're gonna do that by clicking on the first section the first canvas that is seen on your website and then you're gonna go down to scroll actions add an action and when this canvas is on screen we want to show a canvas and we want that to be the subscribe and we want it to trigger once so this is just like how I go over in my other video uh, and then we need to make sure that this subscribe canvas is hidden to start. Um, so now when we preview, it fades in immediately, as you can see. And if we didn't want it to be the first thing you see, and maybe we want it to fade in a little bit later, I'm going to remove that from here. And then we're going to go to this section here and add the same thing. So I've removed it from the top one and now added it to the second. So now when we preview, it pops up as you scroll lower. Um, so you can just set whichever canvas you want to be the pop-up for it. Um, and then you just have to make sure that you have the all of these settings set to full screen so that they cannot navigate out of it. If you don't want them to see that they can scroll, then my recommendation, as I've already said, you can set this all the way to the sides, or you can set the canvas background to a color instead of transparent. Um, so now when they preview, that canvas will pop up, and as you can see, they can't do anything. So that is how, oops. <laughs> and as you can see, again, if you don't have it set to trigger 
uh, just once, it will do that. It will keep popping up, which is beyond obnoxious. So make sure in the scroll actions you have trigger once clicked so that it will only pop up once instead of multiple times. So after they X out of it, they will not be able to see it again. Um, that is how you do that. You can do it as background colors. You can do background images. You can do whatever you want to do. Just make sure that it is set to canvas at window height, that everything is being responsive and going to the edges or stretching all the way to the edges responsively so that nobody can X out of it until they click on whatever you have set to be clicked on. So that is how you do a full screen subscribe or full screen pop up. Um, and another tip really quick is that if you do not want a scroll bar to show, so if you see in my preview, I have actually hidden the scroll bar manually with code. So I'm just going to show you really quick what that code looks like. And this is just literally for me Googling, you know, how to hide a scroll bar on your browser. Um, so it looks like this. So if you want to pause the video and retype this out on your own, all this is going to do is hide the, the scroll bar that you see in the right side of your browser. So that is that. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for sending that message and asking how to do things. Please subscribe and like the video. And if you also have some questions about show it, how to do things and show it, uh, drop them in the comments below. And when I have some time, I will try to create videos for that. So thanks for watching.